I put myself in others' shoes to walk a mile of their journey, when I borrow others' glasses to see the world in their perspective, when I smear a layer of others over me to embrace their experience, and when I write a slice of others' life as my own, I only want to leave an impression to you how it is to be like them. It's not that those who write thrillers or serial killers, those who write horrors or vampires, or those who write erotica or sex addicts. Like many writers, even I get frequently judged for my writings. But what I say is, that should be a hindrance to the readers, not writers. Whenever I pour my ink into the paper, whenever I pour my ink into the paper, I'd be distressed like a sex worker, feeling the pain of men poking me over and over and over and over right where it hurts. Or I would be insecure like a transgender, cringing in loneliness, trembling in the fear of when people will throw stones at me as I walk, struggling to voice out for my denied rights and deferred dreams. Or I would be traumatized like a rape victim, you know, frightening in the memories of how that pervert inserted the iron rod inside me, making me to drip a fl flood of blood and as he drifting it in and out, raping me, stabbing me, killing me and leaving me crippled forever. Or I would be depressed like an unwed mother for people slut shaming me, blaming me, humiliating me right in front of my child because once, once I undoubtedly trusted the lies he whispered in my ears. Or I would be even uh, intoxicated and excited like a newlywed bride, relishing a humongous bite of exotic love, blushing and dancing and catching the butterflies that kiss and ignite a flame of white heat all over my veins galor. Or I would be agitated like a common man while seeing the everyday suicides of my fishermen and farmers and the kind of disappointing politics and governance and people those who do honor killing in the name of this so-called ugly caste system and, and this over-intense drama that happens on an hourly basis in our R.K. Nagar constituency. Whenever I pour my ink into the paper, I pour an essence of them inside me to spill out a flavor of their experience. And so, when I use I in my posts, don't confuse it for my personal story because if you Look close, if you look more closer, you will find that I is you. Thank you.